was just blank piece of land to begin with and now there's a substation there and the amount of work that went into it just seeing it go from conceptual stage to now going there and physically seeing it Watson is really the first step in a many step process to build uh, more substations and then eventually, you know, every network area that's downtown would be fed from a different substation. There's a lot of load growth, Duquesne University expanding, um, the new UPMC Vision facility uh, coming online. So this will allow us to reliably feed those new customers. All of that, uh, if we do it right, gets solved in our grid modernization effort that we're looking at. Uh, and we wanna make sure the grid's more flexible, more nimble, has more visibility. That's really the unique position of the utility to kind of choreograph all of that stuff that's coming online. We've done a meeting with all of the building owners downtown, and we went over the details of the project and what to expect. Sometimes have to pivot, come up with a new engineering design, maybe even a new technology uh, to make sure it's working with the area itself. Having an extra set of eyes is imperative. We brought in managers from underground, didn't approve of it. They brought their real, real world experience into it. We, we made up new drawings, approved them. Safety is the number one priority. Watson's definitely going to hold a special place in my heart. Just getting to, to drive down a Boulevard of the Allies um, on a regular basis and just seeing the, the orange lights lit up at Watson's always going to bring me back to a, a good place at Duquesne Life.